for the symbols. Save me from this chaos! Bobby! Yes, welcome aboard the coast ladies and gentlemen. One minute past eight, we are delayed due to a leaf on the line somewhere near Hartlepool. In the studio tonight live, we have the Scapons! No! Help me, help me, save me from this madness! Sugs, help! Stranger things! Hello, this is Sugs. And you are listening to Mr. Skurf. Uh, from Wee Wee Sissy, yeah, yeah, Dad, Dad, Big Time Sister. Let's start with a bit of madness just to get with, into the right frame of mind, boys and girls. <laughs> Zero seven eight five eight four two nine three one six. So that's it. Introductions done. Amy, hi Terry. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Had a good week. I'm good. It's all good. You've been busy. It's all gravy, man. Busy doing note. <laughs> But a big welcome today to the Scapo! Question by Willow. When Jack grows up, do you want him to be clever like his mum or a singer like Terry Hall? I wonder who said that. Um, clever like his mum. Fun. Right, well, yeah, you wrote a book. I did in many many years ago now. Many many moons ten, ago. Ten years ago, it, it came out. It came out ten years ago. I, I re-updated. I, I wrote one in 1995, just a small pocket version, uh, and then obviously with the with the reunion in 2009, I updated it and brought it up to up to date. So the book is called. You're wondering now the concept. <laughs> You're wondering now the special from from conception to reunion, and at the moment we're we're in we're in um, in talks about doing a audio book. Ooh, audio book. I'm bringing that up even more today because it's ten years history. There's going to be a lot of stuff to glue onto that. Oh, there's a lot to glue onto. Yeah. All the, all the two toners, we played with all the two toners. We Madness. Selected. Madness. The specials. The special. Select, uh, the selector. Uh, bad manners. The both beats. Um, you know all the Jamaican stars: Dennis Al Capone, Vin Gordon. Um, Vin Gordon. The, the toasters. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Black slate. Not black. <laughs> black slate. <laughs> Not, he calls them black. Lace. Amigo. Yeah. We'll play that. I like that song. Yeah, it's a great song. <laughs> Uh, just when they played at Sanford, it went on for 25 minutes. That was a problem. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, you know, we we run out of we're running out of forgetting who we play with. To be honest, it's been really it's been a fantastic roller coaster ride. Well, you see, that's for me. You know, I mean, people tend to think, yeah, Scarban, 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 but you know, you saw being a Madness fan, you know. The specials weren't just a scar band, there's still ants, you know what I mean? If you listen to the first album, there's, there's elements of funk and soul also, and, and then it moves on again into something else. Uh, uh, film soundtracks in the second album and stuff. And it's just an influence. It's based on Dorian, the story of Dorian Gray, uh, the bloke in the picture. 1984, and not a picture of Dorian Gray, but life just like it was before. Dorian Gray, who's Dorian Gray? Because some of our listeners are thick like me. <laughs> Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde, yes. It's an Oscar Wilde story uh, about a bloke who never ages, but there's a painting of him that ages on his behalf. Ah. Uh, the only way he can die is if the picture's destroyed. So the picture's all diseased and aged. Sooner or later, it's time to settle the score. Well, I, 
I didn't, I didn't write the, the lyrics. The lyrics were written by an American yeah. friend of ours, Bobby Wilson. Bobby, hello Bobby, yes, hello Bobby, legend. Ghost Radio. No. It has been an absolute pleasure having you in tonight. Massive round of applause for Muscle Up.